over to YouTube right now. What's up, squad? What's up, squad? Y'all here? Y'all here? Hey, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Instagram? Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Like this video and share it. Like this video and share it. We have a um, very special guest in the house tonight. Hopefully, uh, they'll get here soon. In the meantime, uh, let me go ahead and get started. Y'all press one if y'all can hear me okay. The sound okay? Is the sound sounding? Are we good? You know, we need a sound check. Okay, the speaker's working, sound working, everything working. All right, we're about to get started in just a moment. Get ready, because you about to be an ATL. That's your being a vlogger. More than a vlogger. Come on in the room. How y'all doing tonight? It is a beautiful Thursday night in the ATL. It's 10.36 p.m., okay? Hey, y'all, come on in. Like and share, like and share. Uh, we have a special guest that's supposed to be joining me tonight. But before uh, we do that, I guess I can get started on some topics, okay? Oh, y'all want to have a Patreon after dark, too? I see you, Miss Dogan, over there in Discord, um, so did y'all watch the Marriage of Medicine season 10 reunion part three? Press one if you watch the Married to Medicine reunion part three. Let me see what y'all saying in this chat. Uh, you made it. Hey, 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 hey. I don't see nobody. What are you saying? Oh, okay, there y'all go. I was like, who had said it? Who had did it? Okay. Well, um, they had a special guest. You know, I'm like more housewife centric over here than married to medicine centric. I know a lot of y'all be wanting me to watch married to medicine and stuff, and sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But um the draw to the third uh part three of the married to medicine reunion was Phaedra's ex-husband, Apollo Nida. And it's like Bravo, y'all think y'all slick trying to get, uh, you know, the Real Housewives of Atlanta people to watch. Y'all trying to get these extra numbers by trying to get them to watch. And I don't know if it worked or not. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm sure it did because I tuned in just to see what Apollo Knight I had to say. But, um, yeah, Phaedra invited Apollo of her own free will, okay? It wasn't an ambush that some people were saying. But, you know, Apollo came out looking good. I know y'all saw him and he he spilled just a teensy bit of tea. OK. And um, in his segment, which we talked about the other day, Apollo revealed that he and Todd Tucker had had, you know, a conversation and that Todd had apologized that they all good now. So I'm like, OK, that, that's good to know, because you remember during the pandemic, you know, all of us was over here, me, Apollo, Peter and everybody. We was over here talking about, you know, um, Apollo and his situation as he got out of jail and the things that happened and transpired with his his property. My chair is getting low and low. Do y'all notice that? I am so I am on the floor. Hold on. This chair does not like me, and it does this in the middle of the stream every time. 
now I'm back. Now I'm back here. Okay. Well, Paula wanted to know what happened to his things. Okay. That's all he wanted was a conversation. Apparently, you know, Todd must have gave him a conversation. Then, you know, we have a situation with, you know, Apollo and Peter Thomas and going into partnership and all of that stuff. And I don't know what's going on with it, but maybe Apollo will let us know. But there's been a lot of things going on with Apollo. His relationship with Fedra. Where is Fedra? The co-parenting. It's a lot. We just want to know everything. Don't y'all want to know everything? Uh, you said Apollo ain't no doctor. Fedra ain't either. Or is she? <laughs> y'all let me know. Uh, you said Apollo seen interest. Ooh, that man is married again. Okay. But listen, listen, listen. Before I get started, before I get started, y'all know I got to say hey to my people. Okay. I got to say hey. I got to acknowledge the people who were kind enough to get in here first, even though I went over to Instagram to tell y'all that I was on live. So, um, y'all shout out to everybody in the green. Y'all see those are our channel sponsors. The channel sponsors make sure we are here and they support me over here on YouTube. Also, shout out to my Patreon members who got a first alert. Okay, Patreon gets the after dog and get the behind the scenes and Patreon know what I be doing and all my little home improvement projects and my uh, car improvement projects and everything. So shout out to Patreon and also... Uh, shout out to my mods. Okay, shout out to my mods. C. Patterson was in here. Princess A.G. Side Eye, Jazzy Bell, Miss Kiki. Okay, simply Sha Sha. Everybody is here. Okay. Um. Oh, and I would be remiss if I did not mention Mama Brown. Okay, Mama Brown has has been a trooper, and she is you know getting better every day. And I appreciate all of y'all who sent y'all well wishes to all the people who sent gifts and you know and, and she's so very happy to know that so many people have been um you know sending positive energy her way she only has two more treatments left so y'all definitely put pink hearts in the chat for mama brown okay pink hearts in the chat for mama brown now <clears throat> As we get started, okay, I know it's, you know, it, it, we, we, we low numbers today, it's okay, but these people in here, you know, since y'all getting it live up close and personal, I would definitely appreciate it if you go ahead and smash that like button. So, you know, if I ask again, it'll already be done, okay, it will already be done, okay, amen, amen. Thank you so much for the pink hearts, y'all, that is great, I appreciate you. Um, and what else has been going on? What else has been going on? Oh, <laughs> I had heard that Kenya Moore and them is upset because Kenya Moore is trying to secure her contract. And, uh, you know, maybe I put a thorn in her side by telling the people that the Kenya Moore hair care is not even open yet. So now Kenya is struggling trying to figure out what she going to do and how she going to make it work. And it's still not open. Just thought I'd spill that tea real quick. Real quick. Just real quick. Okay. Now, um, before I get started, I want to know. Y'all put in the chat. You said, oh, well, I know, right? Oh, well, it's not my fault. Listen, I, I was trying to support a black-owned business. I needed my hair did, okay? I needed my hair did. I needed my hair washed. And there was nobody there to wash my hair, even after I made an appointment, okay? Um, okay, well, no lies were told. No lies were told, okay? And y'all remember uh, Kenya went over to Carlos King and was complaining and saying that the producer did not show her real life the producers refused to show her her spa opening well apparently the producers refused to show it because they all knew it was a stunt and a show mm, mm, mm. anyway before i get started i want to know i want y'all to know i want y'all to tell me what y'all would like to know from apollo nida Okay, when he gets here, I'm see, listen. I'm up here stalling, trying to wait, looking in the back, trying to make sure he ain't back there yet. All I see is the big account. Apollo, where you at? Hurry up, friend. <laughs> you said it never pays a lot. It showed sure don't. It showed sure don't. Hey, y'all. Hey, Mr. Bright. Hey, Black Travel Couture. I see you. I see you. Um, uh uh, not where's Peter's money. Uh uh, not the ring doorbell camera. Oh, see, so y'all want to be me. Y'all, 
See, listen, Apollo is a guest here. Don't make him don't don't scare him away before he get here. Don't scare like listen. We need some easy questions. We need some easy questions. I want to know his thoughts on what Pedro said. Okay, wh which part? Uh, Kendra, was it the part about um him not coming in the house? Or was it about which part? Hmm. No, -uh, how the marriage is going? Oh, 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 okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, oh, not oh no. All right. Okay. Why he wasn't at the birthday party? That's a good one. Okay. Uh, why is Apollo banned from going inside the house? Oh, okay. All right. Y'all got some good questions. Y'all got some good old questions. Well, we gonna see whatever Apollo wants to answer. He won't answer, but you know, Apollo Nida is known for, um, you know, being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. He was previously married to uh, Fedra Parks. He is uh, now remarried and he is a businessman in the Atlanta area. So I would like you to uh, put your, I don't know, what, what, what should be the Apollo emoji? <laughs> what should be the Apollo emoji? The bearded man, the bearded light skinned man. Put your bearded light skinned man in the chat. <laughs> Put your bearded light skinned man in the chat for Apollo Nida. He's here finally. Apollo, your camera ain't on, friend. There you go. There you go. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. You looking well over there? <laughs> yeah, everything's cool. For the most part, yeah, that's better <gasps> right there because it was looking weird. But I yeah, really... there we I go. I want to zoom you in. You, you know, you can put your camera this way and you get more of the picture. No, I'm fine. It's cool. Like okay, that. okay, we good. Okay, so how are you, Apollo? I was, I was excited to see you on um, Married to Medicine. Was I was excited. I, I was impression. excited to see me on Married to Medicine too. <laughs> so, so how did that come about? Like, like everybody was shocked that, you know, Phaedra wouldn't invite you. I mean, she admitted to inviting you, but, you know, how did it actually? Uh, well, I think, I think the, 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 the prelude was more so that uh, some of the other women on the show was uh, uh, always speaking about my non-presence uh, throughout the season. How come I was never around? Uh, when there was events with the children, how come I wasn't there and things like that. So they felt like I was a non-existent, like I wasn't a father, like I wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, like I wasn't present in my kid's yeah. life, you know. And so long story short, so why guess, didn't you go to the birthday party? I guess that was the big issue was the birthday party, right? Well, you know, they do a great job of editing. You know, they edited me out of the birthday party. <laughs> oh, you was playing. there? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, uh, so we had multiple, see, this is the thing, like, you know, we had multiple birthday parties, you know, that was more so for just, you know, the TV and TV fans and so forth. Um, it wasn't a thing where, oh, you had one party and I wasn't present. Uh, that wasn't the case. We literally had three, three birthday parties. Okay. We literally had yeah. three birthday parties. We had, uh, well, no, so it was four total. So it was, we all did something together, her and mm -hmm. I and the kids and Leali, my daughter, um, and then we did uh, Aiden, uh, Dylan, Leali, Shireen, and I, and then Phaedra did one with just her, you know, her friends and family. And then you had one for the TV show. So okay. it's like, okay. yeah. So it really didn't matter, you know. Okay. But the so women, we... it, some of the women thought that I guess, hey, we don't see him, so he's not even a father. He's not around. Are you ashamed of him or whatnot? So she was more so like, you know what? Every time something would happen, she felt like. Uh, you know, one of the ladies or a couple of them would always say, well, oh, I'm going to tell Apollo, I'm going to get Apollo something. So she more yeah. so wanted me to come on there and just kind of clear the air of, you know, our relationship and exactly where we're at, where we stand today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And when you, while you was on the show, Andy did kind of ease that question in there about Todd and Candy and, and the stuff that happened with the stuff in the garage. Right. And mm -hmm. he asked you about your relationship with Todd. Can you expound on that and let me know, like, what had, what had happened? What you had seen Todd at? Um, so I saw Todd, uh, you know, there's a, a local establishment here uh, that we frequent um, a lot um, that I've seen him at. Uh, this particular night, I didn't know he was there. Um, we bumped into each other. Uh, and then, you know, he was just like, hey, look, let's just squash all this. Let's talk about it. 
Um, let me get a better perspective. Because a lot of times, you know, when you're in the heat of the moment, people are not really listening to both sides of the story, exactly what's going on. Um, but, you know, I'll just say it again. It, it, it's pretty simple. It was more so the negligent of not having a conversation with me when the items were misappropriated or taken from the government, right? So it's pretty simple. And I don't know how come it seems to get misconstrued all the time, but I'm gonna say it one more time. It's pretty cut and dry, simple. You give me that watch on your arm right there and you tell me to hold it in confidentiality, right? And you say, hold mm -hmm. it, I'll be back for my items. When you return, the items are not there. I personally, if you're giving me the items to hold for you, and when you return, the items are not there, I at least owe you a conversation about how they're misappropriated. Either I lost them, they were stolen, some girl took something. Not just go mute and not say anything about it. Regardless if it, you know, who, who amped this whole situation, whether if it was Phaedra who got, who got involved and, and spilled it, if it was Candy and Todd who spilled it, that's not, that's not the issue. The issue was the items were given to one person, to one party per se, to hold. Mm. It's pretty simple. You know, yeah. so they would give it, they would give it to one party to hold. Because you and Todd were friends and you yeah. just felt like because you and Todd had an arrangement, you felt like Todd should have under the arrangement. Yeah, I mean, there was no need to film the stuff. There was no need to open the garage and film the stuff. I wasn't there. There was no it was in confidentiality. And again, I get it. You know, it's a storyline. People were doing what they had to do in the moment. It was a hot topic. I was a hot topic at the time, you know, going off the uh, federal prison. So I, I get that from the business uh, uh, aspect of it. I get that. But you got to boil mm. down to the meat of it. Like, it caused me a lot of grief. And then the thing yeah. about it, I didn't find out about it I, through, through them or through Phaedra. I found out about it, one, watching the TV in prison. And then two, mm. my attorneys are giving me a call about potential uh, uh, more time due to the fact that, you know, I potentially lied on my civil deposition. So it was a lot deeper. It was a lot deeper than just, oh, we got something. The feds come and confiscate, confiscate it, you know, yeah. because I yeah. did go through, you know, nobody knew about the items. So at that point, you know, it just kind of looked really bad on my. So opinion. you weren't mad at them for giving up the items or whatever they did with, with the feds coming to the door. You were mad about how it all transpired as far as them putting it on the show, which sparked the investigation to get the stuff out there. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to get from. Like, are you mad at them for like, cause, cause Todd and Candy said they, that they came knocking on the door and they had to give it up. That's after you filmed. Okay. No, okay. Nobody, okay. nobody knew, nobody knew it was there. Okay. Regardless of how you slice it, whether if Phaedra spoke about it on TV, Candy and Todd spoke about it on TV, it was filmed everything. So no one can say what, how, when it happened. Only thing that you can do is you can only control yourself and your attribute to the, uh, to the overall madness, if, if you will, right? Yeah. So, so if if uh, if we're both in the car together, and we both agree in the park this car in the parking deck, right? And somebody breaks into that vehicle, and we whose fault is it? Okay. So whether if it's Candy Todd or Phaedra, whatever happened, whatever. At the end of the day, my stuff was still aired on TV. That's not the point. Listen, Michelle. Again. It's it's not it's not rocket science. If I give if you give me your watch to hold and you come back for it and it's not there, I owe you a conversation, right? As okay. to what happened, not nothing. It so was then, radio was, silence. They didn't talk yeah, to you yeah, at yeah, all. It, no, yeah, and it was not never like a situation where hey, I got a you know I got a phone call on my brother because Todd was in contact with my brother um, a lot. It wasn't a situation where he was like, hey, tell him to call me. Or, hey, some shit went down. When he gets out, call me. Or, matter of fact, when I saw him in 2019 at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, he, we didn't even talk about that. You know what I'm saying? It was more so could have been like, hey, let's discuss what happened. And it is what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not mad. Me and Ty talked about a lot of stuff. We, you know, we shook hands. We're, we're, we're cordial. We're in a good place right now. It is what it is. Again, it was never like, oh, you owe me money. or Oh, I need this or I need that. That was never the case. It was just, okay. look, just man, I, 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 yeah, I deserve, I deserved a little respect based on everything that happened, you know? Okay. I'm glad you got that, that closure out the way, you know, yeah. because that's a good thing. Now, I know a lot of people want me to ask you this and you 
like I said, I asked you earlier, can I ask you, can I not ask you? And speaking okay, of closure. On, actually, let me let me put my codes on my hookah. Hold on real quick. Oh, hold Lord. On. Hold on. Got the codes on the hookah. Codes on the hookah. Hold on. Two, two seconds. It ain't going to take long. You got to smoke before I ask this question. I do. I, mean, I don't know how, how hot it might be. You know? Uh, it is not going to get, you know, I ain't going to do you like that. <laughs> The question should be. I am a friendly. I am a friendly smoke. blogger. <laughs> a, friend, a friendly blogger. I, okay, I can use this, I guess, because I don't know. You don't even know what I'm about to ask. No, no, no I wasn't talking. I was trying to find my um little tongs to uh, get the the coals off the um off the. I like it before. That's nice. That is real nice. I like the plants back there. I be liking people's decor. You know that. Oh, I mean, look at that, everybody background. Look, it's a little cute dog back there. Oh yeah, my little Dior. Is she is she Hello. moving? She's sitting back there looking at me. Uh oh. Yes. I just put my, my dog up there, but he's sweet. That's her little baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at her turning her head. That's the little baby right there. Say hey, mama. He said, "Where is Biggie? Biggie, Biggie right here. Look, he right here. Hold Sleep. On, there you go. He heard his name." <laughs> you want to say hey, mama? Oop. Oop. Wait, there she is right here. Say hey. Oh, hey, hey. Dior. She's this, adorable. Just a little. Baby. I would, I would put you as like a a pit bull man. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, I was a no, I was a no dog man, and I'll tell you that story. But uh, yeah, so I was a. Uh, no, no dog guy. And, uh, I, I, you know, I was kind of traumatized as a child. I, there's some things that happened with my dog. And so I just said, you know, I never wanted another animal. So anyways, Shireen, uh, two Christmases ago, 2022, she was, uh, Leali wanted a dog. And I was like, no animals, just let's wait. Let's wait. I kept like prolonging and pushing it off. Like, please, no animals. So Christmas came. She ran out the house on Christmas. Like, I'll be right back. And uh, when she came back and I said, you better not have no fucking dog. You better not. I'm going to kick that dog <laughs> out this house. You better not have a dog. Man, she brought, she said, no, don't act like that. Please don't do that. I said, man, get that dog out this house. So she brought this little thing in, man. She was so little tiny and cute. Aww. Uh, yeah, and then you know, and I let her go, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let her sleep in the bed and everything, don't. <laughs> oh man, this dog does everything. It doesn't matter. That's what everybody say. I'll never let a dog sleep with me. And next thing you know, you get a little dog, oh, and no. the dog be right there. <laughs> like, no, the dog. Out. She's the she's the family. She rides with us. See, I don't really like the hair and stuff, right? She's not like hypoallergenic, but you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. We just sweep all the time, and you know, we have like a thousand lint rollers. But she's part of the family, you know. She she she's well trained now. Uh, she uses the matter of fact, she uses the bathroom on her pad, and then she goes number two. She'll go in the bathroom, like on the tile, and she just uses it in the bathroom. That's what we use it, you know. So yeah, she'll do that, and then you we let her, we let her outside. You said what? Did you did you do your hookah? Everybody like where the hookah? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I got it. I definitely got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I want to be I want to be comfortable. Oh, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I mean, I go at you know the people in the chat want to know like they said something during the show that that kind of insinuated that you and Phaedra could have got back together. Like, how do you feel about that? That people say it in the chat. That's not true. I don't okay. recall anything like that. Okay. That no, what, what what she said, no, 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 no. That's not. See, you guys need to go back and rewind. What was said was the. The cast on Mary the Medicine is more family oriented, more driven by respect, more driven by staying together, working through problems, cultivating the relationship, interpersonally, outer personally. Uh, the, the couples on the show are not necessarily trying to tear one another down. Yeah, you're gonna have your beefs, right? All quite naturally, because you have a lot of women, a lot of, lot, you know, uh, and the men too, but, um, it was more so Phaedra was just saying that the cast on that show, think about it. There's three couples on there who are married, mm -hmm. who have had infidelity or some type of issues where they were heading to divorce and somehow they managed to stay together. Right. The show's been on for what? Almost 11 years. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good, you mm -hmm. know? And, the, and she was saying, if that would have happened on the housewives, which is like our situation, everybody's so pro 
get a divorce, get a divorce, you know, mm-hmm. do it, do it, do it, you know, and, uh, you know, he's not this, she's not that. And the, so even the, the castmates on the show were never, you know, in agreement with work it out, stick through it, fight for you, fight for your love, fight for your marriage. So that's what she was just saying. There's a better, um, there's a better crowd uh, when it comes to uh, relationships. It's more pro relationship versus okay. not, you know, I believe. That's, so being uh, that y'all have been co-parenting cordially, will we be seeing you more on the show? Like if she continues on that show? Because I mean, it, I mean, it, it, it would seem like a good fit. You this know, is not disturbing me, you, right? No, I'm good. No, okay. No, um, maybe, you know, that's, there's some talks, you know, who knows? I'm, I'm open okay. for it. I mean, it's all, it's, okay. I think it makes, I think it all makes good TV. I mean, there's a lot to learn from uh, what's, what's transpired since I've been home. The, the dynamics mm-hmm. between Shireen and I, Shireen and Phaedra mm-hmm. and the kids, you know, we're, we're, we're working on uh, a lot of things right now. The family's blended. You know, my mm-hmm. children, they spend a, a hell of a lot of time with me. I mean, all the time, all the time. And so, so what about um, you talking about you couldn't come in the house? What was up with that? I mean, we just haven't got to that place yet. Like she doesn't come in my house. I don't go in her house, but I'm all, I always go over there. She'll come here okay. or, you know, pull up outside or whatever, or whoever, whatever. Um, so that's okay. not a, that's not an issue. And, you know, like there's no, for me, I'm really blessed. You know, there's no child support. There's no parenting plan. We, we just kind of roll and just let it be organic and really natural because okay. I mean, like right now, if the kids were shit, not in school, I don't have to ask to see my kids. I just go. Okay. I call, I call my children. Yeah, I call my children and say, hey, pack it up, I'm on my way. And then I'll just mm-hmm. let her know, hey, I'm, I'm here to get it, It's just a different dynamic. It's cool. So yeah, I'm, and I'm glad it got to that because I remember when you first came out, how it was an issue. You know what I'm saying? That I guess y'all was starting to work it out at that oh, point. Oh, man, it was, it was hell when yeah. I first came home. Yeah. Um, but resilience and I guess time heals everything. Um, So like now, you know, even like my, you know, Aiden and Dylan, they reach out to Shireen all the time. They talk, Shireen does, you know, Aiden's hair, they're always here. They, you know, uh, my kids, they all, they play together, Leali and them play together. So they're all like brother, brother and sister. So it's, it's a, it's a cool thing. It's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad. Now, (laughs) people asking, (laughs) since you got your hookah, let's get to the hot stuff. (laughs) <laughs> just a few days ago we did a video is, is, about that a, is that a backdrop or is that a setup in there no this is a real backdrop this is my okay. um you know i'm That's down in, in my bottom room, room with what okay. and i got like bookcases with all my paraphernalia on it okay i don't have no apollo nighter paraphernalia but i got big boy cynthia Bailey. <laughs> i got phaedra's book over there i got cynthia and peter's book i got nini's book i'm gonna bring you something this, for me Okay, I got, a couple I got things. My, my YouTube plaque over here. You know, it's, it's just my straight from the A paraphernalia. Okay. But anyway, um, why it look fake? No, no, no. I didn't know because I didn't know if it was like a, a thing. I didn't know if you already you put like the green screen in or it. something. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, well, I keep hitting this camera. But anyway, <clears throat> see, you, you try to see Apollo. I know what you're doing. You try to. <laughs> You slick with it. You try to get make me forget my quest, my line of questioning. <sighs> Just the other day, we was doing this video about you, Apollo. You was on the blogs about a it ring was... cam. <coughs> yeah. So what it was was you no. Know, what um, happened? Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I'm extremely apologetic. For, uh, for what transpired on the uh, ring camera. It was totally inappropriate. Um, it really brought shame to my family, to Shireen, you know, for all the hard work that she's put in, uh, all the dedication that she's put in to me and to my to my kids. Um, it was just, it was, you know, it's humiliating. Um, so I'm not sorry that I got caught. I'm sorry in general, you know. So it wasn't a situation where it looks bad. It looks totally bad. You know, there was just, you find yourself in vulnerable moments. Um, you know, we're all human. I'm not uh, mitigating what happened, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't have to really expound on it. But uh, it it really no, looks no. bad. It looks bad. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, uh, but sh- shit happens, and all I can do is just keep you know crawling through it, and until I it come out. It looked like a setup to me. It looked like a schemes 
I ain't gonna say Ty Day, but it looked like a setup because who has the camera right in front of the TV where you sitting like like well it it wasn't it wasn't that uh the the individual um was in another situation with someone it's like getting caught in the crossfire and her dude found out about some other stuff apparently hmm. took the phone um and went through everything and then leaked it leaked the stuff to the media you know oh, that's what that's what came out in the in, in the wash that's exactly how it happened it wasn't like the individual just was like oh here you go no nah. so hmm. Again, I guess, you know, that relationship was terminated a long time ago. Um, just so happened, you know, it, it came out. And again, like I say, I'm, 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 I'm remorseful. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely apologetic for what's happened um, because I do know it's brought a lot of shame. You know, it's hurt and it hurt. Mm -hmm. Mainly, you know, disappointment, you know, it broke a lot of trust. It's, uh, and it's hard to mend that type of thing, you know. Uh, just mending things back with uh, Shireen and trying to gain her trust and confidence. You know, I, I can only imagine, you know, how she feels. Yeah, y'all been through a lot. I'm glad that y'all working it out. Yeah, we're we're trying to work it out. You know, it's it's a, uh, again, it's a it's a it's a it's a steep climb and a slippery slope at the same time. You know, so every time you think you catch your footing, you, you slip down a little more. So it's like you're not really sure when you go through tumultuous situations like that that are that are potentially deal breakers uh that mm -hmm. that that breach you know uh trust uh commitment what you stand for in a marriage when you break those type of situations um it you know you can just imagine you're trying to climb up and get out of it and then you're sliding back down because it's it's a it's a fresh wound and it's yeah. you know and i've had you know i've had other little small situations too you know in the past and it's like it's not you know my my, my track record is not squeaky squeaky clean so this one kind of was like top the put the icing in the cherry on the cake. So it's like, damn, you know, it's bad. I know. You gotta you gotta be careful now. You got a lot to lose. You got a whole family now, and it's not just Shereen dependent on you. You got like children dependent on you too. So you know, definitely, you know, I'm big definitely. You know, we, like I said, we're side. we're all human, and you know, it happens. Uh, you know, I just think that I shouldn't. I should have maybe cultivated relationship at at my home versus trying to cultivate a relationship somewhere else, you know? So. Yeah. Well, okay. Moving on. During that live stream, okay, there was someone in the chat who was like laughing at your I don't even see I don't even see anybody in the chat right now. Are no, we? I said during the live stream that I did when I was okay. talking about that situation. Oh, there was someone in the chat that huh? was laughing at your pain. And I was surprised that he was laughing at, at your pain? pain. Yes, laughing at the situation. Oh, oh. And it was okay. Peter Thomas. And I was surprised because I was like, wait a minute. I thought y'all was cool. Like, why are you on here throwing shade? And he called in, and I wanted to give you an opportunity to respond. You don't have to. But he called oh. in, and he was like, I don't fuck with him no more. You know, he stole from me. He did this. He did that. Yada, 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 yada. So I was like, oh, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, had I known, I wouldn't even ask him that, you know what I'm saying, publicly. So I'm just well, trying to figure out, you know. Mm. Anyway, if you want to clear it up, you can. If you don't want to clear it up, you don't have to. But everybody mm. in the chat was like, y'all were best buddies. Y'all were in a business venture together. And I remember, you know, you doing Instagram videos, showing, you know, y'all two together and stuff. And so people were just, you know, curious as to what happened. Right. So, regards to the uh, Peter Thomas uh, <laughs> fuckery, really, and in, uh, in, uh, his allegations, they're one thousand percent false. You know, uh, I'm going to expound on it a little bit, but I won't feed into uh, into the negativity. You know, uh, like Michelle said, you know, when they go low, you got to go high. You know, I won't stoop to that level because that's really some bitch shit. What happened? What he did? I mean, because two men are supposed to be able to speak about things, especially if you're friends. You're not supposed to, like, uh, defame someone's character. I have a business. I'm a family man. I didn't steal from anyone, okay? We're not talking about This is not a, a street deal. This is not a drug deal. It's, it's, it's real estate. You know, here it is. I work for a company. I'm a project manager on, 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 on a couple companies um, and make sure that everything goes accordingly. Um, and so... Excuse me. So the company already had, and you know, for people out there who don't understand, 
you know, this platform and exactly what, what goes on when you acquire real estate, you have something that's called acquisition. That's what it's called acquire. Okay. So the acquisition date, the records can show, see, like if it was a situation where I just want to kind of bang his head in and just show exactly what's going on, you know, I could, the records can indicate everything. So acquisition was way before Peter Thomas came in and before he even cut a check to invest. So it was more so like, Hey, what's going on? What you got going on? This is what I'm a part of. Okay. I'm not owner. Mm -hmm. I simply work for the car, for the company. Um, anyways, well, Hey, this is what it is. You can get in. This is what you can, you can contribute to it. This is what, you know, your percentage will be. So I was like, okay, yes, that took some time, but remember the acquisition was there. It was a handshake deal, which was admirable on both parties, right? Especially, you know, consider he was my friend. I thought he was my friend um, where it's like, okay, I trust you. We don't need to put any contract, any paperwork. You're saying it is what it is. Let's roll. All right. So they've already started doing their thing, fixing the property up and so forth. Well, you know, during that time, COVID was uh, a lot of the government uh, agencies were shut down. Things were moving a little slow. And, you know, Peter, I guess, you know, for cloud or whatever, he wanted to go out there and basically start to do the, the Instagram thing, which wound up on Wendy Williams. I don't know if you remember that. Um, so Oh, they said y'all were working together? It yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then when, once that happened, then it was more so like more scrutiny and stuff came into the project. So here it is, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you work for, for a company and if I'm working for someone, I try not to put, you know, my... Um, my notoriety, if you will, on the forefront. I try to play on the backside because I don't want to cause any issues with the project that could prolong. Because you got, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. You got some people that 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 love me and some people that that dislike me, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, you never know. It's like rolling the dice. So yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to cause any type of issues for the people that I'm in business with. So I kind of play the back role and don't really come out until need be, you know, I'm always on site and doing what I'm supposed to do. But anyways, um, so he decides to, to get in from a financial standpoint, it's not moving fast enough. So now mind you, it's not like, let's just use, uh, you know, simple numbers. So it's not like he came and said, here you go. Here goes the full amount up front. It was rationed out in mm -hmm. portions. Through the, through, the, through the life of the project. So, and who does this? When you invest, you already know when you're making an investment, you're dealing with a potential loss. You're dealing with shit not going um, according to plan, you know, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, he then in the middle of the project, he asked me, hey, can you see if I can get 25, 27,000 of my money back in the middle of the investment? So again, no problem, we cool. Let me see if I can do that for you. So boom, he got his money back. Still, the company still has to move forward though, right? Business still has to go according to plan. So mm -hmm. anyways, the company's still moving forward. He does put the money back, you know, puts the money mm -hmm. back. We keep going. Anyways, once he finished uh, deploying all, all the capital that he had, you know, boom. Next thing you know, he's saying, um, okay, when's the house going to sell? When's the house going to sell? I can't make the house sell. Mm -hmm. All my job was to get the house built. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the company's been carrying a mortgage. Uh, it's hard money, right? So they've been carrying a note on this property. So at the end of the day, you have no choice. So many times, remember when COVID happened, it was a lot of inflation. So mm -hmm. the original investment was not what it was supposed to be. It inflated by, by, you know, by thousands and thousands of dollars. And at that point, he was not in a position to give more money. So there was no cho there was no choice but to refinance the property. Okay? okay? Because so anyways, long story short, man, you know, you know, for him to sit here and say that I, that I stole from him, so at, so when he just kept talking and talking and talking, I said, "You know what? This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm just going to have the company to deed the property to you with a shitload of equity, almost 300 200 300,000 dollars worth of equity in the property." So while you're running your mouth saying When's it going to sell? And you're saying that I stole from you and I, and I did all this. That's, that's false. We, the, the company deeded the house to you. The house is deeded to him. Hmm. So, so who took something? <gasps> it's a, it's a 800 and something thousand dollar house, 700 and something, whatever it was. I think it was on the market mm -hmm. for 825 uh, at mm -hmm. one point. And I think the, it, it dropped, but at the end of the day, the property is in his possession. 
So then mm-hmm. guess what? So, so since I stole from you, guess what? There's a mortgage still on the house, right? And those are the people that are my investors that I work for. And guess what? He goes into foreclosure because he couldn't pay the note. Did he tell you that? Did he tell you that he was seven months behind in foreclosure? March, matter of fact, it's on the record. You can look at it, it's public records. March 3rd, March 5th is when the property is going up for a foreclosure. Uh, and yes, they were able to, assumingly they were able to, to redeem it. So it didn't mm-hmm. go into foreclosure, but come on, man. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that I could think of is I said, why would he say that I stole from him or something like that, right? How is this possible? Mm-hmm. When you have a whole house in your name right now. So then, you know, I started thinking about, I said, okay, what is he talking about? Like the appliances or something in the house? You know, I don't know. But then when I thought about it, I said, hey, look, first of all, the property belongs to other people too. Yeah, it's deeded to him, but the, the note is in someone else's name. Mm-hmm. So someone did come in there and take the, take the, uh, the appliances out. They took the appliances out two weeks pri- or three weeks prior to it going to foreclosure. Why mm-hmm. would you leave all the appliances in the house? Right. But as soon as he found out or whoever came to the house and notified him about it, he called me. And when he called me, I said, I'm not sure. Let me look into it. So once I looked into it, I figured out who did it, what happened. And guess what? The merchandise was returned. Mm -hmm. So how do you steal from somebody? So, you know, it's just a lot of it's a lot of bullshit. I I feel like y'all should have probably, like you said, y'all should have had a conversation offline before he put it on blast online and. You know, it's, it, because y'all got a history together. You know what I'm saying? And it, it we just, do, but see, that's the thing. Then you 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 kind of back somebody in the corner to where they have no choice but to kind of defend themselves and just put it out there. I'm not I'm not seeking clout. I'm not seeking any type of you know notoriety off the situation. I'm not here running my mouth saying I did this, I did that, whatever. You know, I did the best I could. We built the beautiful house. Um, you know, had a completed product. If we couldn't make the product move, it is what it is. But everybody, see you, you see what happened is. Uh, Peter came into the situation selfish. Me, 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 me. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people that sacrifice. There's a lot of people's sweat equity designs. Hell, Shireen was the fucking architect on the whole thing. The interior design, the architect. Think about all the shit that she lost. She didn't get a dime. Mm-hmm. She didn't make a dime just because here it is. We're all trying to save face. We had a couple other business partners. The bank. We didn't make nothing. So here it is. We're mm-hmm. sitting here. And, and just for your thinking ass, we're sitting here trying to tell you, okay, man, be patient, be patient. You know what? Here goes, here goes the deed, man. That's the best I can do. Mm-hmm. What else do you want me to do? Here you go. Okay, you sell it. You do whatever you need to do. But you do know there's a note on the property. We had no choice but to do that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that was that. I just think that, man, I don't know what he's going through. He's dealing with a lot of stuff in his life. I wish him well, you know, but I, I'm the wrong person to attack, man, especially, you know, the shit that I've been through. Uh, it, now is not the time, you know, I'm not sitting here knocking his head off, you know, trying to sit here and, and make fun of the shit that he's going through. So guess what? The ring camera situation, right? For him to even mm-hmm. comment on that. Let's just mm-hmm. say the shit that's going on with him and the IRS right now or, or the, the landlord and stuff like that. What if I got on the blog, you know, on TMZ or whatever I want to do or your, or your, your platform and just started laughing and making a mockery out of him? Mm-hmm. You had, there, like, what was you really trying to do? Yeah, I just should have, should have a conversation. It's not a y'all. y'all it's not a still y'all. have a conversation. See, it's not a y'all. It's a him. Well, See, cause he I, cause I and you, he and you, you and him should still have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? The same yeah. way you, you and Todd had a conversation after yeah. all these years. You know what yeah, I'm saying? My, all my business has been good, man. I sit there and like literally, literally when you felt like things weren't going the way it was supposed to go, I deeded the house to you. So let me ask you a question. Let's just say the house didn't sell, and let's just say we never put a note. There was no mortgage on the property. Mm-hmm. So, so you, all you have is acquisition. You have a uh, budget, rehab budget, and you have his investment. That's all tied into the rehab budget and everything. So then what? So now you have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equity in the property. What do you want me to just give you the property? So I deeded you the property. Everybody knows that when you pay a mortgage, partial goes to interest partial goes towards the payment of the house, right? Mm -hmm. So you're still building some type of equity. Unfortunately, Mm -hmm. you wanted it now. You wanted your money now. When I, when you wanted to, watch this now, Michelle, you want the property now. So if you want the property now, all I can do is deed the property to you with an encumbrance on it. The encumbrance Mm -hmm. being the lien and in in which you have to service that lien. You have to service the monthly payment. 
the monthly payment has been being serviced, if that's a word, been being. Well, so does the house have equity? A shitload of equity. Oh, okay. it has yeah. almost it has almost probably like two two fifty two eighty worth of equity in the property. Okay. okay, that's your that's your profit and everything. So if if you would have just left it like it was, right? Continue mm -hmm. to let the company service the loan, which they've been servicing the loan for a year for a year and some odd now, right? Mm -hmm. Then you could have put a security instrument on it. You could have put a lien on it, and we wouldn't even have this problem. You just wait. So he tried it his way. So once he tried it his way, he went into foreclosure. He put the house on the market for sale and didn't sell. So what are you doing different than what we did? The only thing you did different than what the company did was you got in, got the house almost took. Because everybody put the house on the market to sell. It just wasn't time to sell. So, you know, yeah. that's just a bunch of BS, man. Everybody worked hard as hell on that property. And that property was a fuck, was an amazing piece. Mm -hmm. Amazing piece. I mean, considering what, oh, man hands down, like to, to the team, to Shireen and, and her team and her, you know, insight and design skills. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for nothing better. So yeah. we delivered, we delivered a hell of a product. I'm very proud of the product. And you know, it's, it's a learning lesson, but you just, you don't go what? into business with people who don't understand the magnitude of real estate and how things go. You stick to the restaurant or whatever he's doing. Cause that don't look like it's, it's in fruition right now, but you know, Listen, Apollo, you don't have to do tip for tat now. We you just said you weren't gonna do tip for tat. So I'm not, but it's not fair, man. You know, it's not fair. I've been I've been loyal, I've been humble. I've been even when Peter was going through shit years ago, I was the one I'm riding with Peter. Even on the TV show when the when what's the name put his hands on him and shit like that, I stood up and, and rode for Peter. Peter has always been my guy. You know, people change, man. People change. I didn't do it. Yeah, and and didn't you it. never know what people are going through. Sometimes you got to give people. Right. True. People, people, yeah, people might be going through some stuff, but you don't take your anger and frustration out on, I, I, you know, it's been time now, but, you know, I've been home for a little while now, but I'm saying I was still going through my problems, just trying to, you know, reintegrate with society and just try to get my footing and figure out, you know, my passion and figure out what, you know, what's going to, you know, suffice for me and my family and how I can get in and make things move, maneuver for myself. I'm not out here tearing nobody down. I'm not out here frivolously running my mouth and, and just jumping on blogs and doing shit. I don't do that. Yeah. You know that. You know how hard it is for me to even want to get on here. It's hard to get a pilot. Like, do you know how long I've been working to get you on this show right now? <laughs> well, you know, but they don't know. But yeah, it's hard to get Apollo. Apollo be gone. So I don't, Apollo you know, I don't busy. yeah, I don't bother nobody, man, you know, but yeah. it is what it is. I'm not mad. You know, it's like I say, I can't, you know, I can't get mad. I got a cool support system, a good team. I'm not mad at nobody. If that's what makes you happy and makes you feel good, if it made you feel more of a man to do that to me, cool. Cool. Well, you know what I, I'm saying? Maybe, just, maybe you need, maybe he needed it. To communicate. You think it I helped think his, maybe it helped his, it help been, his ego? Listen, listen, listen. I know, listen, I know you're upset, but I'm just saying, I feel like both of you have been severely misunderstood in the media. You know what I'm saying? And so because of this housewife stuff and people putting this stigma on you, you know, y'all scammers, y'all this, y'all that. And I know both of y'all are, you know, generally good guys. So I just feel like you should have a conversation with and him. And that's the part that made that really upset me because, yes, I did go to federal prison for bank fraud, for wire fraud. You understand? So that stigma that someone scammed somebody or stole from somebody, it looks it's terrible. Mm -hmm. it's terrible. Th think about it right now. If I had a major contract on the table right now, oh, you know, and somebody wanted me to come in and do X, Y, Z, and I'm the represent, I'm, the, I'm, I'm representing the court company to go out here and, and speak to this hedge fund and this, that, and that, and they get wind of it. Like, what? Yeah. Do you understand what that does to a person's character? I'm already climbing, fighting, trying to get that shit off my back, trying to get people to forget and forgive me. It's not and fair. Peter it's knows not that he in the same boat. He in the not same right. boat. As soon as, not you know, right. he get a leg up, then some other news come out. And then, you know, it's always a snowball effect. So he knows that the same way. Anyway, that's why I want y'all to talk, talk about it or whatever. But again, I just wanted to bring it up. I didn't know how you were going to expand on it, but I'm glad. You, then I don't you know. understand when I brought, when the, when the merchandise was brought back to the house, the man calls me and says, hey, I'm in town this week. You want to get up and go out and have a drink? And then this? Man. Man, listen, man, I met the man at Yanni's uh, spot. Uh, he's got a, a, 
a, a clothing store that he built mm -hmm. that he put together in Buckhead. I went to a spot. He was there. We were talking. Come on, man. You don't do that. But it's cool. I'm not. I'm not mad. Yeah. I, literally, I'm not mad. It doesn't. When we get off this program, I'm gonna forget all about it. I don't. Okay. It don't make me no difference. Well, you know, I, can. Hey. I just want y'all to. You know. Anyway, what's next? But, well, hey, one more thing before before that. One more thing I gotta say. You okay. gotta think about what you say because there's a lot of people involved. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just you're not just talking about me and hurting me. There's other people. There's other people that sign. The people who own the property, they're the ones who signed off on the deal, just because okay. of me. Mm -hmm. Just because of me, they signed off on the deal. You know, and here it is. I put my neck out there for you to get everybody to come to agreement. And say, okay, look, he just wants what he put into it. Let's just give it to him, and he's gonna serve. Remember, there was no contract in the beginning. Mm -hmm. They didn't sign a contract when it was time to sign it over to them. They offer face value. They're saying, okay, are you sure? We need to put a contract. They're saying, hey, we need to put a contract in place and saying he's going to pay the mortgage and this, that, and third. I said, well, it's only fair. He gave investment with no contract. So mm -hmm. his word was he was going to service the loan. Mm -hmm. This hurt a lot of people, man. What do you think it does to someone's credit? Going into foreclosure. Or seven in months, seven months behind. Who? Seven months behind, what do you think is going on right now? I how do you think the event, how do you think the, the the owners of the property, how do you think they feel right now? What do you think? How do you think they're looking at me? Have you thought about that? Yeah, so you know, but well, whatever. Next. <laughs> <laughs> next. What's next for you, Apollo? Like, you know, I, I, I want I want to know, like, as far as business wise or aspirationally what do you aspire within the next 12 um, 24 months do you have a plan what you do? yeah i don't i have i have plans i just don't really uh speak about my plans you know i try to keep them to myself but uh okay. the main goal right now is to try to you know savor what's going on here uh what happened in the media with the ring cam just try to we, we're still fighting trying to get through that that's uh um imminent right now uh that is what uh, is on the forefront for me, um, because you can't really see it. when you have turbulence. You can't. You're, you're so shocked with the turbulence that's going on currently that you can't really see your destination. It's almost like you know if you're in a plane and it's shaking, you just don't know if you're gonna land or you're gonna crash. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's like really right now where, where I'm at. But no, there's a lot of things in, in store for the future. The 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 year is still young. Um, you know, we're going into what we're in the third month, going into the fourth month. So, you know, we still got a lot of life left in this year. There's a lot of great things to to come. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. The TV show, the Married to Medicine thing was definitely a blessing. I think that it it still gives people hope, I guess, for me and for my, for who I am as an individual. I mean, Andy was so happy to see you. It was oh, like yeah, that was that was great. <clears throat> that was yeah. great. I yeah. was really happy to see him too. I, I think, you know, just, just letting people know that I still have it, you know, that I'm still a big presence in, you know, in the media world and in the TV world, I'm still a, a, a huge success and there's still a big name and everybody is still very uh, delightful. Everybody's warm and welcoming. And I really appreciate that too. Everybody's respectful and they respect me and my presence. And I really appreciate that, you know, that, you know, it hasn't fizzed out. So that's a good thing. And now it's just like, okay, what's next? How do I navigate through this and make it, you know, a staple? Because it would be great, you know, to get on, to, to have like a... A platform. Uh, or, yeah, a platform, or, or, or more longevity versus, you know, the little, little things that I've done or Shereen and I have done, the little shows that we've done over the, you know, the course of these three or four years. You know, yeah, that's cool. And it's definitely a blessing. You know, I'm not uh, negating that. It's, it's more so just having something a little more solid. Because you really, mm -hmm. this business, you don't know. It's almost like, you know... You're kind of just throwing your throwing your your line out there, and you're just waiting. But that's why you have to have the other things. You have to have you know the real estate. You have to have this and have that to keep yourself you know poised and together. But you know I'm I'm and still. It, and it would be good for for them to offer you some type of like road to redemption. Like you can get your own show. You remember when Ti exactly. came out of there? He had the whole road to redemption kind of thing, and it's like it just feels like he brought up Joe. Good Gudice, is that his name? Oh, 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 uh, uh, Judice. Yeah, Judice. And he yeah, brought Judice. him up, and, they, and he's still on the show, you know, and they still kind of show them. Did he make it like, back? Did he make it back to the States? Are he yeah, still over well, there? No, in Barbara, he got uh, deported, in, uh, but he's in yeah. Italy. Yeah. 
but they, so they still, still on the show and they be filming him and the kids sometimes, oh, really? you know. Yeah, oh, so I'm really? like, you know, it would be interesting to still kind of see, you know, what's going on with Apollo after. Well, you know, that's the thing. You can't, you have to have longevity. You have to have, you have to persevere. You have to have resilience uh, despite what happens. You have to keep pushing forward. So you can't necessarily just keep that um, as like, oh my God, I need this. I need this. You know, you really don't. I mean, I, it would help. It definitely helps, you know, to, to have that extra, you know, source of income and have that platform that can help you catapult into something else. But uh, it's more so just you got to keep you, you got to keep your net out there and wait. And also you have to keep your feet and your mind focused on your bread and butter, your, your day to day, because if not, you're just going to kind of find yourself in a, in a, in a, in a bad headspace. Right. Well, um, uh, LSMA asked five dollars. <laughs> ask, ask Apollo how he felt about seeing how Ty only started talking crazy to Phaedra after he went away, and how oh. Candy Todd and her staff tag team Phaedra. How you feel about that, or did you see that? Yeah, I, I've seen some of. Well, you know what it is. You know, uh, like I said, it goes back to the respect thing. You know, people can. If you notice, a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say when I was gone. Mm -hmm. They didn't say it when I was around. They don't say it to my face. No one ever addresses me in person and says anything to me. People know mm -hmm. who I am. People respect yeah. They know who I am. We don't get it twisted. You know, there's still a lot of respect there because the thing about it, you can't demand anything in life but respect when it's given. And I give everybody respect. So I'm going to demand my respect in return. I don't go out of my way to disrespect nobody. I don't go out of my way to say anything about anyone. I don't. Mm -hmm. There's no need. You don't, you see, I don't even, I don't comment on nothing. You don't. You don't be on social media like that, even though you should. Well, actually, for everybody, no, 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 no. I would, but for for y'all who's out there listening, my Instagram has been down. Um, I got locked out of my out of my uh, Instagram. I've been fighting to get it back right now, but not because Instagram didn't shut me out. It's just that I don't remember my password. I got a new phone. There's a whole bunch of hoops and hurdles I'm cra crawling through. But hopefully, I can get it back. If not, I'll probably just start a new page and just figure out, you know, how to bring everybody back over. I might just do a lot of interviews on a lot of different platforms just to get everybody to shift over and figure out a way to, to gain my, you know, get, able all to my... get back in. Get yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not, it, people are probably saying, Oh, well you just go in and forget password, hit forget password. No, it's a lot more intricate than that of what's going on. Cause but, it's tied uh, to old, old phone or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just, you know, we're working through it in, in, in hopes that we'll, we'll figure it out. But that's one reason but uh, that I'm not on social media like that. But two, I just don't really comment. Um, my life is my life. And I, you know, if, if I'm on a platform, I'm on a show, then you would see that aspect. But then two, you still want, you want your privacy too, you know? So it's yeah. kind of like, it's been cool. I don't know if a lot of people can go almost a year without IG and stuff like that, but it's, it's actually been kind of cool. I just really been watching a lot of educational programs on YouTube and just because <laughs> I'm like you don't have no troll account, no little backup account. You can no, be on no, 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 no backup account, nothing like that. Uh, I just cut, I, I just shut it down, like whatever. Okay. Yeah, it it is a cleansing though. I I kind of purge sometimes too, stay off social media for a few days and then come back and be like, what's going on? <laughs> but anything so you, you want enjoying, the order, huh? Uh, but, I'm sorry, go no. ahead. No, I was saying, so you're enjoying uh, your new purchase and everything, and everything's good. Why you and Peter both do that? Stop it. What? Well, talking about that's not saying. No, I gotta say, like that. Is, but yes. Well, I'm I not love saying my like. Purchase. No, I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't say nothing like that. I, I just, you okay. know, I, I worded it well. I, it's good to. This is the thing. You have to. You work hard. You know, I've known you for up ten years. And you gotta. You gotta reward yourself. You know, and you got, you, you have to, uh, you can't just, you know, work, work, work and not reward yourself. I was just wondering, you know, from the transition, are you enjoying the the, the, the change of scenery more so? Oh, yeah. I love it over here. I be walking my okay. dog and everybody be walking their dog in the middle of the day. And we all know each other. We're all dog people. <laughs> and, you know, doing. yeah. Yeah. So it's fun over here. Yeah, that's cool. Not Anything Michelle, else? Any more, any more uh, questions? Well, 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 what would, I don't she have bought a Maybach. <laughs> I didn't buy a Maybach. I'm a Porsche girl. <laughs> Is there anything you would like the audience to know that I may have omitted? I feel like I asked all of the pertinent questions, but um, you know, there may be more. No, I just, you know, I appreciate everybody's support and love. I, I really appreciate that. Um, just, you know, over the years, 
um, everybody who's rooting for me. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the haters, you know, they can keep hating. You know, that's that's. I really don't see them, but I know they're out there. You know, uh, they can't. You know, when you're uh, when you're God's child and you're destined for greatness, He said He'll make the enemy your footstool. So I'm just continuing to stay vigilant and prayed up, keep my armor on, and um, you know, just try to repel all negativity and all negative energy from my life. Um, that's just where I'm at. You know. And I'm just really appreciative of where I'm at in my life right now and just what I've overcame. Um, I'm really, you know, appreciative of my support system and the people. You know, you win some, you lose some, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully the people that have been lost through this journey, uh, through, it could be my, you know, sometimes I'm bad at communicating. It could be that, you know, but maybe in time, uh, God will see fit that, you know, people will come back around and we'll have a better understanding of where everybody was at, you know, in, in, in your headspace. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. like you said earlier, you know, we really don't know what, uh, what, uh, you know, we'll just use uh, Peter, for example, we don't know what people go through at the, at the moment. And sometimes that can make people lash out and it really wasn't intended for that person, you know. And mm -hmm. then hindsight, hindsight's twenty twenty. you know. You could say something about somebody and, uh, you know, you, you, you'll regret it later on, you know. That's why I really don't say nothing. Uh, and then I try to instill this in my children and in and, and, and my and my relationships is like, listen, you can say, and this goes for everybody out there watching, you know, this is an educational piece. Uh, the reason why it's never good to uh, extort people and say bad things about people is because let's just say a person, you say all this negative things to people. And I think you and I talked about this previously. When you say all the negative things about an individual, and let's just say that person writes they're wrong. You've already went out there and, and just spread all the negative, negative things. Stuff. But you're not going to, if they write their wrong, you're not going to go out there and tell everybody that you said something negative about this person too. Hey, mm -hmm. this person did well. This person got right. This, da, da, da. You're not going to do that. So that negative mm -hmm. persona stays lingering out there. And then you're the only person that has the instant gratification of they did well, or they, they rectified that issue. See, that's mm -hmm. not fair. It's not fair yeah. at all. So, you yeah. know, I try not to, I try not to even do that and put myself in that position to where I have to go back and be like, damn, I need to recant this statement. And, you know, why did I say it? Just don't do it. Don't say it. And don't put people, don't put people in the mix, man. You know, it's not good to put people in your business. That's you smart. Know? Especially That's when smart. it's like interpersonally and, and friendships and relationships and stuff like that. You know, like you say, you could talk about it. I yeah. feel this way. You know, it's not like Peter's never had a problem calling me mad or drunk before and cursing me out or whatever. I, I take it. You know? Ditto. He be calling me mad, drunk, and cursing me out too. That's why I be like, "Well, what's happening here?" But anyway, um, uh, would you like to take calls, or would you like to end it right here? Because we can end it right here. It's, more, it's, it's whatever you want to do. I would love to take calls and see what the people got that's, to say. That's fine. You know they're gonna be. I don't have no control over. You know I don't, I'm not. You know you, you can, have you to give me a the, thumbs up the, or some uh, thumbs the, down. You can hit the you can hit the the end button, right? The end. That's what oh. I'm saying. But you got to tell oh. me if they're going oh, okay. too far. Oh, like, yeah, yeah do hey, something. Dead, dead. Yeah, give me I got a you. sign or something. Give me an eye twitch. <laughs> okay. Like, hang up. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna All go right, like Doc, put the link in the chat if you want to call in and ask Apollo Nida a question. Okay, be nice now. Show him that I, my community is not crazy. Okay, don't uh -oh. be calling in asking all kind of craziness. It's uh 2,600 people in here right now. Okay, y'all go ahead and 2,600 people. This. Yeah, wow, 2,600. Okay. Only on YouTube. I'm only streaming on YouTube right now. Go uh -huh. ahead and thumbs up this video, please. And thank you. And definitely uh click that link to call in. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds. Oh, somebody already back there. Hold on. Let me uh -oh. see. I don't see no face. No face. No case. Sharon, we need to see a face, honey. I need to see that you're a real person. So you won't be spamming me or something. Okay, that's fine. You can turn the camera AI. off. You ain't got to be on camera. I just want to know that you're a real person. She's an AI caller. She real. But I mean, you know, some people don't want to be on camera. Hold on. Hey, Miss Culpepper. Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I just, I just have one question for you, Apollo. When you okay. was on the show, when you was on the show, you kind of gave uh, Dr. Greg, uh, Dr. G, the side eye. It looked like you was gonna slap her for one minute. Oh, not Dr. G. <laughs> that was the one who who said that he that he that Phaedra told him to pay four thousand dollars a month. 
Right. Yeah, no, I was I was just thinking about the time lapse. I was just trying to figure out the timeline, <laughs> and I was just a little bit uh, perturbed about that. Like, okay, wh when or what? Was you just making some shit up? Like, that's all it was. I just was oh, kind of okay. confused. Yeah, I was kind of confused about that. That that's what it was. Okay. So, did you figure out the timeline? Was it? It's what he said. I guess <clears throat> long time ago. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad uh, to see you and talk to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Thank All right. You. Bye bye. Thank you, Sharon. Appreciate you. Uh huh. Oh, we got nice callers today. Hey, Doctor of Love. Hey, Michelle. How you guys doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good, good. So, Apollo, my question for you is: Will you um, do a show? I'll say um, on your own or with Phaedra and the kids. Because, like you said, you and Peter, you guys have a presence that we miss, just to be honest. Um, so would you do another show, if, even if it's with your kids? Um, yeah, I've thought about it. I would, I'm would. i definitely up for doing a show. I'm definitely up for exploring, you know, my, my platform and, uh, you know, my likeness and so forth. Um, it's just a matter of uh, when and, and the proper timing. Um, but okay. I think uh, it seems like now the season seems to be now. I mean, I think things are mm -hmm. evolving, and and we'll just see see mm -hmm. how it goes. I'm definitely gonna. I think uh, it started when you was on when you was on um, Housewives when you was in Charade's fashion show. I think yep. the buzz kind of started then. Like people really were like itching to see like what's going on with Apollo. Yeah, because you know? right after that, right after that came um, um, couples retreat. Okay. And then from there, and then from there, it, it just it just you know started uh, steaming up a little bit. So we'll see what happens now. Um, I really really appreciate you know the cast over there at Married to Medicine because they have all had nothing but good things to say, and I think it does add a different dynamic. I don't think you necessarily need to be to to, to be honest. Like their 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 presence is they have so much staple in their presence uh, mm -hmm. to where you don't have to be a doctor. I don't think to come on that show and 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 add quality. And, uh, and mm -hmm. bring a different a different side to that. Yeah, everybody has shit going on. I don't think you necessarily only have to be a doctor. I think that's not that's not a good a good look. I think that there's space for everybody if you can bring it. And I definitely and I think like that, that they incorporate the men in it. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's, a lot. Like housewives too. used to be that when you and yeah. Todd and, and all of them were on it. But like it kind of got away from that, and we never really see like the men doing anything. So now it's like it gives us men and female perspectives. Of things in yeah. this I mean we have a lot we have a lot going on I think we could definitely bring it we can definitely add something to to the pot um mm -hmm. that would be extremely interesting you know like I say over here we're not faking anything over here we're authentic and it is what it is and we have right. uh real life situations that uh everyone can relate to and a lot of times we have a lot of fluff and a lot mm -hmm. of uh, fakery people can't really relate to that you know what I mean uh that's, that's so why cool. hence why they have products that are affordable to some and, and products that are, you know, uh, that are non-affordable. So I think if you keep yourself in a nice medium position where everybody, where you're, where it's obtainable, um, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where we're at. So I think it's in, in retrospect to the, to being relatable. I think that we, we, we cover that and we could, so I think that would be a good fit. We would definitely be a good fit on that program. So you're okay on to go on Mary to medicine. You're I'm okay, okay with that. that. I'm okay with exploring, you know, new opportunities for myself as well. Yep. Okay, because I know how Mariah said love, that. We got to move on. One question per person for you. So I oh, okay. Well, can I have yeah, one like other that. question? <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. One other question, or not a question, but a comment. So, getting if you want to be on Married to Medicine, I made a joke. Go open up a blood bank. Do something to get on there. <laughs> we'd love to see you. All right. Bye. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. Uh, Apollo, I just want to clear this up because, you know, I got some haters in the chat. How much did I pay you for this interview? Nothing. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to put that on just, the record. Just on G, just at GP because it's a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? A lot of respect. You know what I mean? I, 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 I jail with you. You know, you've always been kind to me. We've known each other's shit. I mean, you were doing the blogging and, and helping me out with my with night of fitness with my uh oh, with you my left. Site. Yes. yeah yeah this is like i probably went 2011 or something like that somewhere mm -hmm. around there so and a uh, matter of fact we did i think me and you did our first interview when you first started um at bar one um on the couch over there. This, yeah yeah sitting so, on bar one's couch and you was telling me about being mary jane and all of that stuff yep yep, when yep. You had, yeah yeah see 
See, yeah. When I was doing the modeling thing, yeah, being Mary Jane, yep, all that stuff, yep. See? I don't pay for interviews, people. Okay, that listen. Anyway, people be jealous. They just be so not saying not saying you can't. I mean, you might sometimes. I mean, you might listen, need, you might need if to. you need me to pay you, I'll pay you. But I don't pay for interviews simply because it ruins the integrity of the interview. If you paying right. somebody, that means they're gonna say whatever you want them <laughs> to say. They gonna, you know what I mean? Like I don't pay nobody. But you know, right. I'll take you out to lunch. <laughs> hey, Crystal, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Just, I'm sitting at the Walgreens getting my mama's medication. I'm sitting here out here in Vegas. So <laughs> Okay. Was, hey, what question do you have for Mr. Nida? Uh um, oh we. Well, I did see uh the episode with Meritian Medicine, but uh I just want to say that, you know, I've watched out you over the years. Uh um uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nida. I keep saying I, I need to just say Apollo. Uh did, did they ever ask that you and your current wife to go to uh, the new season upcoming Housewives? Uh, no. So I think she actually auditioned. Uh, this was, uh, I think it was just bad timing. We were smooth oh. rolling. I think everything was good. This was 2020. And okay. I think we really, we really had a good staple. You know, we, we uh, went out to New York. We spoke to everybody, all the execs. And uh, we really had a good foot in the door. And I think there was just a lot of moving parts in that time COVID hit. There was still a lot of fresh uh, uh, wounds with uh, uh, with my with Phaedra. There was still stuff going on with Candy and Todd. Then you had Nene's situation. There was a lot going on at that time. And I think that it was just like, look, we're just going to hit the eject button for a minute. Not necessarily us per se, but I think the network more so was just like, look, let's just hit the eject button. We're going through COVID. And you remember, like everybody, even the NBA and people was in the bubble. You know, so yeah. it's almost like that show, everybody was still, the show still went on, but I think everybody was doing things with low masks. And I think it was like too much to try to integrate us at the time. Again, I haven't uh, necessarily reached back out. I'm still very yeah. good friends with the executives over there. Um, I still, hey. but, I, but I just, I, I always like you and Peter, y'all just really like was, y'all kept it kept it honest you know but it yeah. seemed like most of the housewives that not are, are on not on the show have the storylines they could have exactly. got kim and croy and like what, what's going oh, on that would have been see that would have been that would have been oh, dope, right <laughs> the kim and croy the nini and, and, and portia yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i'm like what the hell are they doing like the Simon uh, hanging out with yoni yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. are they like, do they need me up in there to cast? Like, y'all. You, you need to be the producer. Yeah. yeah. Apollo and like, Peter the in the fuck? background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, y'all miss that's that's why it's gonna continue. No, I'm just talking about the, the drama of Apollo, you and the Peter and the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, little, but all of these little little story, these little pockets of stories. You no, know, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Now, what yeah. would have really been dope? but nobody really seen it was like the whole debacle with this whole real estate shit. That would have been, that would have been yeah. crazy because nobody even got, yeah, y'all don't even, this is not even scratching the surface. Like what, this is nothing like this. That's why I don't understand why it even, why he even went to that extent to go on here because we've had some very tumultuous situations, uh, you know, some outlandish situations um, uh, amongst us too. And I'm just like, damn, you know, if the cameras were only rolling, what exactly how that would have fared it would have been it would have been something the, else. the 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 executives they they keep missing opportunities with storylines they missing out friend they, they're, not, they're not they're not they're not getting their offline. core people they keep just replacing and getting new people it's not working whatever they're yeah. doing it's not working they're going to say season 16 i don't think Portia and Kenya can carry the show they did that already and it didn't work they right. know what they need to do they just ain't going to do it Right, right. Well, so thank you so much for calling me, Crystal. Oh, no problem. Y'all have a good night. Thank oh, you. you Bye. VS, oh, what's up, friend? Hey, Michelle, Hi. how you doing? Hey, Apollo, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Hey, of Apollo. thank you, thank you, thank VS you. VS is a, a content creator as well. Y'all go support VS Icon over here on the YouTube's. Okay. Thank you, yeah. Michelle. So, so I want to ask uh, Apollo something that's kind of controversial. So, you know, you had to do some time yep. and to see that you've come back and how you flourish and Todd and Peter are basically still right here. And Peter might be a little bit, you know, cause he's having some issues right now. How does it make you feel that 
you had to be stagnant, you know, serve your time. And they, they were out free and you don't see like anything bigger happening for them. Like I don't see any extra shows going on. Uh, Peter got all this legal stuff going on. Like, how does it make you feel that you've coming back and you've moving past these people? Well, I've always been, I've always been that type of person. I'm a, I'm my own entity, right? So I'm not necessarily, you got to figure out, you know, uh, Todd became his, his person uh, based on, you know, candy, um, even though they make a good mesh, they're, they're great business partners and husband and wife, and they've, sur they've succumbed all obstacles in their relationship. Um, you know, big kudos to them because it's difficult in this business, you know? Um, so uh, that I don't really look at it as saying, okay, I'm better than someone, or I don't really gauge my success based on someone else. I just count my blessings. And I just know that God has blessed me to be an anomaly uh, individual. It's just based on, it's up to me per se, to capitalize on my exposure and who I am. Only I can uh, dictate the, 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 the ceiling or no ceiling, either take the ceiling off and sky's the limit, or just to be stagnant. Some people get in that cusp in that realm where they really like you, to your point, they either, you know, succumb to situations and they and they either fall off or some people might teeter and just kind of stay stagnant or just stay right there. But then again, we can't just because let's just think uh, like a candy and Todd, just because, you know, they it might not seem like they're evolving as far as in your eyes or the media's eyes or whatnot. They're still, you know, got their 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 eyes set on a bigger piece because think about it. They got. Their, their stores and stuff are in the, the the stadiums. I mean, that's a big feat, you know, just to get your store in the, you know, Mercedes-Benz Stadium or, you know, right. the, the the state farm arenas, you know, they're still doing their real estate stuff. So again, you know, I don't really gauge my my success on other people, but um, sometimes looking back, you, you know, you got to do the attaboy, you got to pat yourself on the back and be proud mm -hmm. of yourself for what you've overcome. And I do that at times, um, but I just kind of stay humble and just keep digging. And then, you know, at the end of the day, once you, you look up and then it's like, oh, wow, okay. You can then look back and say, well, damn, what were y'all yeah. doing? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But in time, in time. And, and one, one quick thing I want to uh, slide in. During the reunion, everybody was talking about how uh, Toya and the ladies got super excited when they saw you come out. <laughs> Did you feel the energy when all the ladies was like screaming and squirming when they saw you come out? Oh, the yeah, ladies definitely. and a man. Of, uh, uh oh, oh. Yeah, and, and it was probably the loudest. <laughs> Most definitely, you know. I mean, I know I still got it. I know I'm still, you know, still a solid piece. So, uh, so you know, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, a, be I'm humble, really, why don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm confident. So I already knew it was gonna rock it. I already knew that, you know, because th people don't have what I have, and you know, it, I'm just, I'm different. You know, when it when it Apollo comes to came that. Out suited and booted, honey. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, blessings to you, Apollo, and thank you thank so you much so for much. having me up. Thanks Thank for you. calling VS. Y'all right. go support VS Icon. Thank, Thank you. you. We got one more and I'm calling tonight. Oh, so oh. wait a minute. We on the couch. Oh, hey. Sure. Hey. How you doing, D Hayden? Pretty good. How about you, Michelle? I'm wonderful. Okay. What I have, you I, have today? I, like, I like your blinds over there. You over there sitting. Okay. I see you. Those are like <laughs> shutters, right? Those are shutters. Yes, right? mm -hmm. the shutters. Those are okay. Nice. Yeah, those are nice. Okay, I have two questions for Apollo. One is a little kind of dark, and the other one is good. So, which okay. one you want first? <laughs> Both, either one. Just shoot it. Okay. Let's go dark and get to the light. Let's do okay. that. Okay. Oh, okay. So, That's going good. back to season seven of The Housewives, before you, before you was actually about to turn yourself in. Okay. You um, spoke with Peter about seeing a text in phase your phone from this guy named Mr. Chocolate. Okay. My question is, was that did you really see a text from another guy trying in Phaedra and really trying to have interaction with this guy? Or were or were you honestly just mad at the moment and were just lashing out and had so many different frustrations going on with yourself at the time? Oh no, that was a thousand percent um honest. You know, I uh just the way I stumbled on it, you know, it, I was being, I, I was hurt at the moment. And uh, that too, I probably could have handled that a little differently, but that was all true. All of it was true. Yep. Definitely. Now bring us to the light. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the light part, all I want to say is Apollo, when I was watching those previews of Marriage of Medicine and that you were going to be on, 
it, uh, it's not a competition, but you brought all the husbands who had been on there to shame. Your dress, the way you styled yourself, A1. You did Thank that. you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you you. I did really appreciate that. that. You made them look like they was their first reunion. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I do. I, I do. like I it. really appreciate it. I like Apollo came back when his first, after years, and showed them how to dress, how to do it. So I appreciate you. You did that. Thank That's you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No, no problem. I appreciate you, D. Hayden. Mm-hmm. All right. You have a good one. All right. You Thank all you. too. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Well, Apollo, we did pretty good, okay? I have a question. Okay. One last question. Remember at bar one, way back, I, I don't even know if that was season six or seven, and you were outside on the corner, and they made you apologize to Kenya, and Phaedra was on her way there. But anyway, you remember that, what had happened? Mm, when you apologized kinda. to Kenya kinda. about saying she had texted you? Mm-hmm. What can you it? can you speak openly and honestly about that? Um, like, <laughs> I I I won't I won't reiterate that because um, I know you don't want to step on those toes. No, 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 because there's no, there's actually I did I've actually uh, spoke on that recently and that has yet to uh, come out, uh, but it will it will be airing soon, so uh, I'll wait for that to come out, and then um, you know people can uh, then have an opportunity to. You know, then we could probably expound on a little more, but I'll just wait for all that situation to come out of, you know, what happened, what didn't happen. Oh, it should probably be within the next week. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. All right. Well, I appreciate your open and honesty, and I appreciate you joining my platform tonight, thank Apollo, because I knew you could have been anywhere else, but you was here with us. Thank you. And, thank um, you. you know, I'll take you out to lunch, send you $20 or something. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you, Apollo. All right, you good have night. a good night. Oh, and tell Shereen I said thank you for allowing you to join as well and send her my I love. I'll tell Shereen you said you love her and, 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 and everything else. All right, thank All you. All right, cool. Thank you. Yep. Good night. Good night. Well, you guys, you finally got Apollo. I got him here for y'all, okay? I had to beg and plead and beg and plead and and I didn't know if he was going to show up. And I was nervous at the beginning. If you listen, some of y'all asking questions, y'all need to rewind to the beginning of this stream because I asked all the questions that y'all wanted me to ask in the beginning. Okay. Uh, shout out to VS for the $20 super sticker. Thank you very much. Jackie said, where was Apollo for his oldest son's birthday party? Apollo answered that question. Miss Jackie, thank you for the 999. He answered that question in the beginning of the stream. LSMA, ask Apollo who his favorite housewife is. He can't say Phaedra. I apologize. I didn't see that before um, I saw this, but um, I don't know who it is or any, but um, I'm going to tell y'all why I asked that last question in a second. Shout out to AT2 for joining my membership. Y'all go support AT2. That's a content creator too. Look at the content creators be over here. Okay. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, LSMA, I asked this question of Apollo. Thank you so much for your super chat. Anita said, thanks, Michelle. Love your content. Thank you so much, Anita. Dust Buster said, Phaedra is a mortician. Isn't that medical field? <laughs> I guess kind of sort of medical means you helping people live. Mortician, they already did. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is that medical? Anyway, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Missy B P O V, thank you for being a member. I appreciate everyone who uh contributed to the stream. Uh, this has been amazing, uh, better than I thought it would be. I will head over to uh Patreon for the ATL after dark. Um but before I go, the reason I asked Apollo that last question, because any of y'all who will, will go on my website, who will uh, go into like previous lives where I have discussed this, I was at bar one last night. And I guess I asked the question wrong because, you know, when the last caller, D. Hated, asked his question about season seven, it took me back there because all y'all kept saying, but Apollo apologized, but Apollo apologized. But one thing I know for sure is Apollo had apologized because Phaedra was on her way there and he was pissed off because Phaedra ended up turning around because she found out that Apollo was there. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, Apollo then, you know, got with the producers and then, you know, apologized to Kenya and Phaedra, you know, just to get at Phaedra because he was mad at Phaedra. But, you know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. OK, you said so Carlos be like, I don't know what Carlos be talking about. I don't know. And I don't I don't, I don't know. Uh, bar one is closed. I'm talking about season seven. I'm talking about the bar one that was in Atlanta over there on Memorial Drive, child. Uh, Michelle, did you spill the tea on drunk Karen? No, child, this ain't about Karen. This is about Apollo. Anywho, I appreciate all of y'all for uh, joining me tonight. Please like this video before you leave. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe because I don't have no subscribers. I feel like I deserve more subscribers for the content I be giving y'all for my interpersonal uh, relationships with all of these people, for leaking texts from Nene Leak's phone, allegedly, for all the blogs having all the things, and then they come to me and get it and don't be wanting to give me my credit, okay? I have to dive into the DMs asking the Instagram box to tell but shout out to the ones who do okay but anyway thank y'all for joining me i'll head over to patreon right now it is 12 o'clock shout out to vs for becoming a new member thank you vs friend um and i will be over there on patreon about 12 05 again like this video like this video like this video see y'all later Good night. I don't even have nothing to put on top of me. I guess I'll put this up. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. No, what okay. you want to say? Here we go. Hey, I'm Dr. Heavenly, and this is Straight From The A. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. Hanging out with Straight From The A. You know, I love you guys. I always visit the site. Y'all know I ain't got no man in I'm not She's rich very like rich, honey. I'm not rich this like you. She's a very rich. <laughs> she been in being the way before I was in being. Okay. No, we came yeah. in business. Right. Nah, -uh. I was in 20, 20, 2007. You've been in business. That's true. I've been in business. She's a very rich bitch. Well, she's just a bitch. <laughs> this is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth. Straight from the That's what you check out. And you love us, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go.